how is diabetes and sleep breathing problems related? Let me try and explain. First of all, when we talk about diabetes, let's, let's talk about what it is. When we have uh, poor control of our blood sugar, normally we do that in normalcy with a hormone called insulin that's produced in our pancreas, um, beta cells uh, specifically, and we control that. So when we don't have it from the beginning, we call that a person with type 1 diabetes. We're not going to talk about those. That's a congenital issue. We're going to focus on type 2 diabetes, which uh, usually comes later in life, although nowadays even in children. But basically, it's a problem with poor sensitivity or lack of sensitivity to our insulin in our blood supply. So norm normally we look at type 2 diabetes and we, we've historically been saying that the number one cause is obesity. However, we know as a very direct coexisting cause, sleep breathing issues are also one of the factors. And it's sort of a chicken or egg, you know, which one came first. One possible way of explanation could be the fact that excessive cortisol in our blood supply from having a rough night breathing can cause this disorder. How does that happen is, uh, is that cortisol is a corticosteroid and as we know corticosteroids in our blood system will increase the level of blood sugar which over a period of time basically causes insensitivity to our insulin. I hope this helps you understand and makes it obvious for you how important it is to correct your sleep breathing issues as soon as possible.